three miles. Yep, almost done. You know you gotta get this thing done early. <laughs> uh, got some bushes over here. So I literally got a vein. You know, and just wish sure I didn't get caught up in it. Uh, bend the camera, do all those things, you know, we just other than that last three miles. You know, road is still quiet too. Uh, everything is still quiet. Yeah, I think the moon is not out yet. It's probably still forming. Yeah, so I slow down a little bit. Yeah, but I'm feeling it because I'm. I like the way that energy is shooting from underneath my feet. I can feel it in my ankles and my wrist and my spine because that energy. Yeah, it's just amazing. Just. Feeling that energy and relaxing my whole body. You know, so everything is still quiet right now. So I've got three more miles to go to so this easy 30 mile meditative jog. Another beautiful day. So grateful, so grateful, so grateful. Yeah, so uh, like I always say, I start my day with meditating, yoga, and all that. And of course, diet. Whew. That can be a difficult part sometimes because, <laughs> yeah, you know, as funny as this must sound, I struggle with food sometimes. You know, sometimes I overeat. <laughs> yeah, I really overeat sometimes, you know. And for me, because I'm bunny and my body's lean, when I overeat, I know it, you know, because it always take away that extra... 45 minutes of reading away from me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because another thing that I love, one, one, that I love doing is reading. You know, the brain, I like knowing about it and just reading, studying different spiritualities and metaphysics. I just, you know, it's almost like I can, I don't even know when I'm going to graduate. It's a lifelong thing because every time I pick up a book, I realize I don't know nothing. You know, I I just got that list of books that I'm hoping to read. You know, as a matter of fact, you know, I want to be, I want to think, I'm thinking, that, man, I probably need to start reading a book every week now because my syllabus are becoming huge. You know, I just... There's something about reading. It just does it. Yeah. Early in the morning, just sitting down there cross-legged and reading that book, it just does something. I can literally, it just, it's a transformation that it does to my brain. Yeah. So it's almost just like, whew. It teaches you so much about love. And so reading and studying different things, you know, science, you name it. Yeah, that's what, that's what I like to get into. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Morning, brother. Yeah, so those kind of things, yeah. That's the kind of stuff I like to get into. Science and metaphysics, you know. I just read them all. <laughs> you, know, I, um, you know, a lot of times I'm sitting there thinking, Bam. Let me just keep on reading because there are just so much to read, so much, you know. And each time I pick up a book, I realize I, I know nothing. And it just makes it so unique for me. It makes me want to read more, you know. And just, there's just something to reading. It just, he has his own balance in life. Yeah, that's why, especially for um, a lot of professors, just not reading, just sorry, just reading a lot. Look at that noise. What I've noticed with a lot of prof uh, a lot of educators, you know, professors and all that, just reading a lot and learning and doing research and not exercise creates uh, what I call it creates depression. Because sometimes 
when you're reading the way you read and you know exercising to balance your brain it just does something to you it makes you want to eat a lot you know eat at the wrong time because when you truly look at it you see all these smart smart professors genius you know but they always like that you know they, they they gain that weight they don't know why but the thing is when you read like that you gotta you gotta exercise your body you know because they just certain things when you put it in your brain you need a way to be able to absorb it and think about it because if not the emotion of those topics sometimes can be a trauma to the brain you know because they just say in books when you read them and especially certain history books when you read them it just creates an emotion you know because when you truly truly become a reader books is just like watching tv you know you you absorb into that book you know it's like you're a character at that moment when you're reading that book it's like you're looking at the whole situation so and uh, <laughs> and that's why long distance running requires a lot of reading too you know a lot of reading you know i'm always with a book in my hand and uh, it's very very important and that's why sometimes in our culture here we think people have to announce phd for them for one to respect them but the same thing that somebody with a phd is doing when you pick up a book, except from walking in the labs and not having the opportunity, when you pick up a book and start reading it, you're doing, you're observing the same thing. The only difference is when you have to walk in the lab or you do not have access to the practical walk, practical walk of the subject. But other than that, mm -mm, you're doing the same thing. You know, just the same way he read, you read. You know, so it's not, and that's the uniqueness about the brain. You know, and when we truly, truly go into it, uh, the world of education is amazing. But it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Yeah, so that's what I just like to do because it allows me to think a lot, you know. You know I just love to read, you know. And uh, it keeps me young all the time, too. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a Martin. <laughs> yeah. Coming up to mile 11. Well, what mile is this uh, coming up? Yeah, mile 11. And that's just what it is. That's that reading, man. Reading, read, read, read. It's very, very important. Read. You know, it's read. Uh, so, you know, so. And uh, that's why I crack up when it comes to different religions. You know, because many of his membership never read their own book. And a lot of times, some of these books, to read it, you have to have to read a certain amount of books to be able to listen. Especially the literature context that it was written in. It, it can be, if you're not a reader, you just wouldn't understand it. And when you do read it, it's like you're reading what's being repeated to you when you're a little kid, when you're a little child or something like that. So that that that's just it here. Yeah. So that that's the thing about the brain. You gotta balance it. You exercise, you read, and most of the time we don't even do that. Most of people don't even pick up a book and read. That is just something to read in. Yeah. So I'm feeling that little energy in this place again. Past it earlier. You know, so yeah. The road is still quiet. I'm gonna be done. Got the last two more miles to go to this easy mile, 13 miles. Meditative jogging today. Another beautiful day. And yeah, it's all about reading and learning. I'm always learning. You know, meditation blows me away. I, I, I just love it. You know, I love stretching my body. You know, it just, it, it just amazes me. Yeah, so. I'm gonna finish this thing in a little bit and have a have a have a have a happy 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 today's Wednesday you know let us 
Let's think positive because everything is going to be okay. As you can see, I'm not even moving that fast, you see. I'm just moving at a pace, just just moving. It's not something like on the speed. No, I'm just moving and I get to my destination just by leaning forward and that's it. So let me focus a little bit here for the last two miles. And I'm going to say one love. Let's get it in. If you're about to go out, you know, have a good, good exercise, run, prayer. Say a prayer to the world, universe. <laughs> and be grateful for family and friends. And it's really funny just holding this camera and trying to jog at the same time and talk and come with something that makes sense. Absolutely amazing. It's a test of the brain. So I'm going to say one love and be well.